Welcome back to Top Facts Channel. Today we're diving into one of history's greatest April Fool's pranks, the Spaghetti Tree Hoax of 1957. Yes, you heard that right, Spaghetti Trees. Let's unravel this deliciously bizarre tale. The idea for the Spaghetti Tree Hoax came from Charles de Jaeger, a cameraman for the BBC. He pitched the idea as a prank for the network's April Fool's Day segment. De Jaeger was inspired by a comment one of his school teachers had made when he was a child, joking that if students were gullible enough, they might believe spaghetti grew on trees. This childhood memory sparked the idea that eventually became one of the most famous April Fool's Day hoaxes in history. It all started in Switzerland, a land known for cheese, watches, and apparently trees that grow pasta. On April 1st, 1957, the BBC aired a segment that showed Swiss farmers harvesting spaghetti from their spaghetti trees. The footage showed women gently plucking strands of spaghetti from tree branches, which were then neatly draped over a wooden rack. The BBC, known for its impeccable journalism, presented this as a genuine Swiss tradition. But here's the twist. Spaghetti doesn't grow on trees. It doesn't even grow in the ground. It's made from wheat and water, and as far as we know, no farmer has ever had the luck of discovering a pasta-producing plant. The prank worked like a charm. Viewers were so convinced that many actually believed it. Some even called the BBC to ask how they could grow their own spaghetti trees. A few people felt that the BBC, as a respected news organization, had undermined its credibility by airing the hoax. They argued that the BBC should focus on serious journalism rather than playing pranks on the public. Despite this, the prank is now remembered fondly as a clever and harmless example of media humor, and it's often cited as one of the greatest April Fool's Day jokes of all time. So, why did this happen? The BBC had a history of using April Fool's Day to pull off elaborate stunts. It was all in good fun, but it also highlights something interesting about how we trust the media. Fast forward to today, and we're still grappling with media trust issues. With fake news, deep fakes, and sensational headlines, it's not always easy to distinguish fact from fiction. Just like those Swiss spaghetti trees, not everything you see or hear is what it seems. While the spaghetti tree hoax was harmless and humorous, it serves as a reminder to question and verify the information we receive. In a world where anyone can become an overnight expert or a pasta tree grower, it's essential to stay informed and skeptical. So, next time you read a headline that sounds too good or too weird to be true, remember the spaghetti tree hoax. Check multiple sources, watch events in their full context, become your own journalist. And if you're ever tempted to plant your own spaghetti tree, just know you might be in for a surprise. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tasty slice of history, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more quirky facts. And remember, don't believe everything you read, especially if it involves pasta trees.